What does a small community outside of Hamilton, Ontario have that brings artists like Snoop Dogg to town? A top-notch recording studio. Jukasa Recording Studio is in the Indigenous community of Six Nations of the Grand River. One of the men behind the studio says it's a hidden gem that's bringing in a new generation of local talent to light. This is a world-class studio. It could easily be in London, New York City, Los Angeles. This is that kind of studio. Stevie Salas has toured the world as a high-level guitarist. His biography is lengthy. He was a touring guitarist for Rod Stewart's Out of Order Tour and Mick Jagger's guitarist and music director for the album Goddess in the Doorway. The studio is very much a tribute to some of the projects he's been a part of. The Some Girls record was my, one of my favorite albums of all time and I was a kid when it came out. It was super influential to me and then I got to play, when I was playing with Jagger, I, we would play Respectable or Shattered and it took me right back to being, you know, a little kid in sixth grade or something, listening to it in my bedroom, right? And when I see this, I think of that. I love that. Salas says this studio was the brainchild of a successful local business owner named Kenny Hill. More than a decade ago, Kenny reached out to Stevie to join the team putting the studio together. He sought me out because he wanted advice and from another native guy. And, it, you know, and I came and, and I was fascinated by his commitment to making sure that indigenous people had this, had these opportunities, you know, and I said, I want to be around you more. His dream was to build a place on the reservation that kids could come here and record and have an equal playing field with kids who had more opportunities around the world. The community is invited in through Jukasa School of Recording Arts. There's also a film and television post-production studio, a radio station, and a recording studio. Salas says the recording studio has drawn many artists to the area, including July Talk and City in Color, plus some legends. We, you know, we have days in here with Snoop Dogg's in here, you know, doing a rap and, and uh, Hulk Hogan's hanging out watching him. Woven into the studio is some of Salas' own musical history, like this mixing board, which he found while producing an album for a band named Gandhi in Costa Rica. One day I walk into this back closet in this unfinished giant studio, and there were seven cases from England that were in these airtight road cases covered in dust. And I asked what it was. And the guy goes, oh, he goes, that's the Abbey Road Studio 3 famous SSL mixing board. But I called him and I said, listen, I found the board. you got to have this board. Earlier on City News, we toured Jukasa Recording Studio in Six Nations of the Grand River, where Snoop Dogg and other artists have recorded hits. While this place attracts many celebrities, it also houses the next generation of talent. The multi-million dollar facility is the brainchild of the late Kenny Hill, a resident of Six Nations and well-known entrepreneur. The building itself is called Jukasa Media Group and it's broken into four parts. The recording studio, a post-production studio, a radio station, and a school called Jukasa School of Recording Arts. Kenny Hill, who built the studio, his dream was to build a place on the reservation that kids could come here and record and have an equal playing field with kids who had more opportunities around the world. And while his vision was to open the doors for both mainstream artists and local talent, he also wanted to build an accessible place of learning. A lot of people who maybe don't have $20,000 or $30,000 for a tuition to go to a private school. Um, so we thought, well, why don't we start our own thing, which is like, you know, a tenth of, you know, the, the time demand and money and whatever, and we could do it out here. Um, and it's, you know, and it's smaller class sizes, like we only do maybe six or eight people at a time. Right now, the school offers two terms, which are 12 weeks each. Among other things, students can learn Pro Tools, mixing and post-production audio for film and video. Pupils have ranged in age from 18 years old to in their 50s. They've also hosted workshops for children. It's a pretty wide range of people um, of all different backgrounds and, and we specialize 
and a lot of people who, who know nothing. So you don't even have to have a lick of experience to start. To find out more information about what the school has to offer, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.